Hello guys, it's me, Red the AP Dinosaur, and today with a new review, GTA Online today, and the Lampadati Tigon. What is the Lampadati Tigon? Purely inspired on the De Tommaso P75. Great car, one of the, I think this car was uh, shown to the public in 2020 on the Goodwood uh, Festival of Speed, of Speed, and it was quite a looker, one of the most beautiful cars that I uh, that have been made to basically to this decade, and it still is. It's such a nice, nice looking car, and and Rockstar decided to just make their own P75. It's basically the same lines. Uh, uh, there is like a few changes on the lights. I think that there is uh, that's like the point that that uh, changes a lot. But overall, it's just a P75. Let's continue with the performance, and this is a this is a topic that I wanted to talk because this is one of the most unforgivable cars I ever driven. It it could be quite difficult to drive because it's a, like I said, it's really unforgivable. If you take a bump with this car, it's gonna be awful because the car will just lose control completely. Even if you try to balance it or try to to throttle control or anything, it will be impossible because the car will kind of get its a mind of its own and get into a wall. It's a really really difficult car to drive, and and I see why other content content creators say, uh, actually recommend it because it has really really good uh, acceleration and top speed but you will be sacrificing a lot of handling in return so i would suggest if you're not very good at racing don't take this car because it's again it's quite challenging and if you take a bump on this it's gonna take a mind of its own and, and you will be off basically you will be on the wall or completely spinning out of control so just take that in mind and other thing is that when I did when I do my my reviews and my my comparisons in my videos, I I take the car that was released on the same age, especially for a car like for example the Soruso. I take the tracks because it was the, the nearest car in, in its performance, and at the same time it was the car that was released on the same age, 20, 2019. So I just decided to take to compare the, these two cars. In this case, I decided because the Tigon was really the, the only supercar released on 2020. Like the 2020 was only a sports cars and, and a few others. That's it. But in, in this, it was a, just a one-off. So I decided, you know, I have to compare it with something. So if it's not its age, it's gonna be its price point, and that's what I did. The the Trax is the car that is kind of nearby to its price, so that's why we have it here again. And if I had the opportunity to say, well, would you have now a rooster of cars that you can that you, that you can pick up, even when Rockstar decided to take some supercars out, uh, you still have a quite of a rooster of supercars to take. And in my opinion, you will actually have more opportunities taking a Trax or, or hell, an Emerus or a Krieger than this. Like, in my, opi in my, in my opinion, I'm, I'm sorry to repeat it myself a lot, but it's better you take a, a car that is balanced between handling, top speed, and acceleration, that, for example, the Emerus is really good at, or... Or, or another car, like for example, the the uh, the true fates are really good in that point. They are really balanced, but on this, it's just a uh, is you will be sacrificing a lot of handling, and it's not completely good when you're doing a race with this car, especially if you don't know very well how to drive in GTA so or in general so that's pretty much it what I have to say about this car uh, yeah if I recommend it for its design completely it's a really really beautiful car to look at and if you make a car that is so that doesn't need any customization 
it's a win for me because you did the job well it's a it, it's a card that has really nice lines and that you don't need anything else to make it better and but the the performance is 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 polarizing it's not bad but at the same time it's not good is is really polarizing some people will like it because there is people out there that will like a really challenging car to drive because they will know how to exploit the best of the, of that car control it at its it, in its best way and get the best of it but i understand people that won't like it because it's really really challenging so that's pretty much it for today thank you very much for watching let me know your opinions about the lamparati tikon in the in the comment section right below and yeah see you on the next one goodbye